Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today we're going to be looking at another AI that can do character animation. And before we jump in, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment, share some love. So animating characters can be a time consuming process in a production pipeline, but there are several techniques that can be used to expedite the process. One such technique is keyframe interpolation, which involves animating only the main poses while the character draws or interpolates the missing keyframes based on the ones the artist drew. Motion capture is another technique that has gained popularity, particularly in video game production. It involves recording human body movement using motion capture tools and using that data to drive animation. However, blending between different movements still requires an artist's touch. In video games, players may transition between movements rapidly and in real time, making it impractical to, to rely on an animator to make those transitions on the fly. Unless if every time a video gamer buys your game, you ship them an animator to make the transitions while they are playing. To solve this problem, various tools and techniques have, have been developed to transition between different motion capture poses, but often the resulting animation appears unnatural. This is where the planning character controls comes in handy. This project has become a comprehensive framework of data-driven character animation, including data processing, network training, and runtime control, developed in Unity, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. This repository demonstrates using neural networks for animating biped locomotion, quadruped locomotion, and character scene interactions with objects and the, and the environment. This AI controller uses a novel ne neural network architecture called the periodic autoencoder that can learn periodic features from large unstructured motion datasets in unsupervised manner. Though this is not a commercial tool you can download yet, it's possible that some studios are already implementing something similar in their production pipeline. Tools like these most of the time replace a lot of jobs. For example, this AI has the potential to replace hundreds of artists as it can do the job of several artists and get the job done in a short time frame. However, AI tools like this also create opportunities for small studios and, and individual artists because AI tools like this can do work that would require a lot of money, a big crew and a lot of time. A small team or an individual can leverage this tool to produce work that's on par with AAA Studios as well. Speaking of tools that uh, you can leverage to improve your production value, have you tried the new AI Maker? It's a whole new different thing. What it now produces is more than an AI, it's actually producing an environment that has parallax in it uh, that you can just place your objects in. The ground will be able to capture the shadow under it. It's one of the best AI systems I've seen. It uh, makes it look like the AI is a part of your environment and uh, you can make your own HDRIs. It integrates the environment into your scene so that it's not just a background. So if you want to check this out, links are going to be in the description. And another amazing tool I would like to showcase is this uh, Hair Bricks add-on by Louise Art, uh, which is just amazing for creating hairstyles, different hairstyles. And uh, it's, it's a layer-based system that uses geometry nodes and the new particle hair system uh, to create braided and braided hair and any type of uh, hair uh, that you can think of. Now, if you want to get any of these or read more about this, I can find all the links in the description. 